Hello everyone, it's Jennifer Gilbert from GTA Imaging, and today we'll be going through tutorial on how to build a Renzo album. We'll be showing you two different ways. One is using third-party software, and the other one is using our InRows software designer. So, first thing you'll want to do is to load up your Rose software. And what I'm going to show you first is how to upload your images and design your album if you're using a third-party software. So third-party software could be something like uh, Fundy Album Builder, Smart, uh, Smart Albums, Momento Pro. There's a few different ones out there. If you are using a third-party software, most of them have our GTA imaging templates in there, so it does make it really easy to build an album. So once you've got your album designed in the third-party software, you want to add all the images to your rows and I've got mine all along the bottom here. And you'll open up your rows and you'll go down to the Renzo Album Luster page and click on that. And you're gonna wanna go over to the size that you are making. Um, and so step one, find the cover. So this particular one is a nine by 12 and it's horizontal orientation. So I'm gonna choose the 12 by nine. And I know that this one is 15 spreads. So the difference between pages and spreads is that a spread is it's the images spread across the page. Whereas when we have pages, they are printed um, as singles. So when we talk about albums, we're always talking about spreads or sides. And when we are talking about the Avenue book, we always talk about that in pages. So as I mentioned, you want to select your album size and cover. There's a couple of different cover options that you can do with your Renzo album, but I'm just going to stick with the basic fabric cover. And for this uh, particular one, I'm just going to choose a uh, faux blue linen. You're going to add that to the cart, and then you're going to go to step two, pages. And again, you're going to find your album size, which I know mine is 12 by 9. And you're going to just choose the very first uh, option that's there, which just gives you a blank spread. Then what you're going to do next, we've got all your spreads along the bottom here, and you're simply going to drag and drop them in and click Add to Cart. And you're going to continue to do that for all the, page, all the spreads. Add to Cart, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not going to go through and add all of them, but when you do go to your view cart, you'll see you've got the cover at the top and then your spreads as um, as they're listed. Do make sure that you are uh, uploading your spreads in the order that you want them printed. Also, it's very wise to number the spreads as their pages. So for example, this one is spread um, eight to nine and that way it makes sure that we print them all in the correct order. Okay, so that is basically the easy way if you're using the um, third-party software. So once you're ready to order it, you go through your shopping cart options, uh, put in any special instructions you may need. If you want to do a paper upgrade, you can do all that, and then you complete and send order, which I'm not going to do right now. Also, your version of Rose will have prices on it. This one just does not for the tutorial purposes. All right, so. I'm going to clear the cart back, go back to my start ordering, and we will show you how to use the InRose software, designer software. So what I'm going to do is find some images to upload here. Let's see here. I've got my album selects in here, and I'm going to, I'm not going to choose all of them, but I'll throw about 32 in there. So now I've got single images to use here. I highly suggest that what you do is you um, select all the images you want to go in the album and have a really good idea of what you want the album to look like before you start with our Rose software designer. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Renzo album luster page or press page, depending on what type of paper you're ordering. And again, you're going to choose what kind of album you want. So is it going to be a vertical one, a horizontal one, or a square one? Uh, again, this is a horizontal one. And I know that it's 12 by 9. And for this one, I'm going to only do 10 spreads, which is 20 sides. 
So the very first thing you're going to do is choose your cover options. So you can see along the top here, we've got a photo panel cover, uh, the photo strip, either three inches or two inches. You could do acrylic cover or you could do the block cover. Um, for this purpose, I think what I'll do is I will show you just how to do a quick panel cover. So you will choose, the panel is only on the front part, so you're going to choose what color of uh, fabric you want for the rest of it. So again, I'm going to find that, um, I think I'll go with the navy one this time. And then you're going to find an image that you would like to have as the cover. So for this purpose, I'm just going to choose this one. So you can see the trim lines here, these blue lines. So that means that anything um, to the right of the blue line is going to wrap around the edge of the cover unless you've chosen the block cover. Now the block cover you can't do a photo panel with, but uh, just so that everybody understands what's going on there. And of course it's going to wrap up here and it's going to wrap all around there. All right, so I've got my front cover picked out now. I'm going to turn the page so there's no images that go here. You can choose black end sheets or white end sheets. So that's just the color of the inside cover. I think we'll just keep it a black for this one and then move on to the next page. And so here we have our first spread. So you can do a couple of different options. So up here you've got some different designs that you can integrate. So for my first page I like to do, or my first spread I should say, I usually like to do something pretty simple. So I think what I'll do is I'll just choose this one here and I'm just dragging and dropping it onto the template. And then I'll go find some images here. So let's start with this here. And I think we'll go with this one here. So now I've got my first spread done. You can see spreads one and two here, or sides one and two. I'm gonna click the next arrow over. And I think maybe this time I'll go into something a little more intricate. So I've got this one here. So this has got a couple of horizontals, a couple of squares. So you're literally just going to drag and drop the images on into the space. So I'm just going like this. And let's find this one looks good here again. And again, as I said, make sure that you've sort of planned out your album already. I'm uh, just kind of winging it for you guys here, but to, to give you an idea what's going on. And you can certainly uh, adjust the images as you need to within the little squares here. And so moving on to the next side. Let's choose this one here. So again, you can see the different layout available. All right, so we'll go find some images here. How about this one? We'll maybe put their heads there like that. And how about the guys pin it on, whoops. So you see this one went sideways. So to fix that, all you do is you click on it and you see this little bar came up here and you just click on the rotation icon. This probably isn't the best picture for her right here, but we'll go with it for now and just drag it up. That one looks great. And we'll do this one here. Whoops, try that again. There we go. Make a little adjustments as you need to. Um, if you're finding this looks a little small, you can just drag over the sides and make it look a little bit bigger here. There we go. All right, so that's sides three to four. And we'll do one more simple one here. Let's move on to the bridal stuff actually. Here we go. So I've got uh, four images to put in here. And again, we're just dragging and dropping them into the corner or onto the template, I should say. And, um, and there you go. Okay, so that one went sideways again. So we can just give it a little flip and put it in there like that. And let's do a simple one on this side here with the dress perhaps. All right, I'm not really liking how that one turned out. So let me find a different one. So if you decide you don't like the way it's looking and you wanna choose something different, all you have to do is drag a new template onto the placeholder. Still not quite liking that one. Let me see here. We'll do, see if we can find a quick one here. Uh, okay, not really finding what I like, but that's okay. Um, so you can then, uh, you know, say if you're going to crop it in, that type of thing. Um, but that's basically how you do the design. So once you have finished all of your spreads, you're going to click Add to Cart. 
Now, because I haven't put all the images in, it's giving me this error, but we're going to add as is. And you go to view cart, and again, you will see, a little bit different than last time, but you will see all your spreads here. So you've got one and two, so it's showing, it's showing it one side at a time, but it gives you a good idea of what's there. And you can see all your options for your cover there. Again, you're going to choose your different options here. If you want the color, uh, sorry, paper upgrade, if you want to do an album check, all that type of stuff. And then again, you're going to pick all your options, complete and send your order, and then send it on off. Now, if you had to stop working on your album and you wanted to come back to it later, there is a save for later option. So if you go ahead and click on that and then it takes a couple minutes to save and, um, but then you can come back to it later. I do suggest that you leave rows open so that it's easy to find later on. Um, if you have to shut it down, you should still be able to reload it um, once you bring it back in. Um, but again, we do suggest that if you're using the Rose Designer to sort of do the album in one full sweep and get it all done and then hit and upload it and send it in. So that is how to build a Rose album using our software. So again, there's two different uh, ways to do it. You can use your third party software first um, and bring it into rows and order it that way, or you can use the in rows designer. This goes for any type of album that we have. So we have our mini rows, sorry, mini Renzo album. We have our full size Renzo album and all the different sizes as well. If you uh, have any questions, you can look us up in our Facebook group. Just look for GTA Imaging Photo Group and request to join if you're not already a member. Or you can also email us at hello at gtaimaging.com or of course give the lab a call. Um, our numbers are on our website at www.gtaimaging.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.